Hi, Jason. It's Lonnie again. And today we're going to read Silly Sandwiches. I picked this story because I'm thinking, how are they going to eat this big fat sandwich? And my son, Brayden, who's going to be 17 next week, loves sandwiches. So here we go. Silly Sandwiches by Anne Hearth. She is obviously the author. Mom was playing the piano. She played the piano a lot. Dylan opened a kitchen cupboard. His friend Jake opened another one. What's for lunch, Mom? Dylan yelled. The piano music stopped. Make yourself some sandwiches, Mom called. The music started again. What kind of sandwiches, Dylan asked. The music stopped. Any kind. Use your imagination. The music started again. Any kind, Dylan grinned at Jake. He put the bread on the table. Jake set out two plates. Let's see what you have, he said. Let's see, what's it look like he has there? I don't know, a bunch of weird stuff. That looks like cookies or a muffin. Uh, I don't know. Hmm, let's see what kind of sandwich they're going to make. They pulled out jars, boxes, and bags. The table was filled with food. They had peanut butter, mustard, and honey. They had raisins, sugar cubes, and cookies. Oh, that's what that is over here. Tiny marshmallows spilled from the bag. The chocolate chips weren't open yet. Jake looked at all the food. Now what, he said. Dylan rubbed his hands together. Dig in, he said. I'm starting with the peanut butter. Everything else will stick to it, Jake nodded. Good idea. What does he mean by everything's going to stick to the peanut butter? Because peanut butter, if you've ever just had a spoonful of peanut butter, you know it's like sticky, right? The boys spread peanut butter on their bread. Jake reached for the marshmallows. Dylan opened the chocolate chips. Dylan sprinkled chocolate chips over the peanut butter. He sprinkled marshmallows over the chocolate chips. Raisins came next. The piano music stopped. Are you finding enough to eat, Mom called? Jake slapped a cookie on a sandwich. Dylan picked up a jar of mustard. Yes, he called. The piano music started again. So when I think about a sandwich, Jason, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking like turkey, ham, roast beef with cheese and lettuce. I'm not thinking about marshmallows, chocolate chips, all this weird stuff they're putting on a sandwich. I wonder if it's going to be good. Do you think a sandwich like that would taste good? Dylan went back to work. He spread mustard over the raisins. He dribbled honey over the mustard. He crumbled a cookie over the honey. Finished! Dylan slapped a slice of bread on top. His sandwich was tall. He picked it up and looked at Jake. Jake picked his up too. They grinned at each other. They opened their mouths wide. They munched and chewed and swallowed. I don't even think I could get my mouth open to eat that sandwich. What about you? Yum, said Dylan. Best sandwich I've ever had, said Jake. The sandwiches were soon gone. The piano music stopped. Have you boys eaten your sandwiches? Mom called. Yes, Dylan answered. What kind did you make? Dylan looked at Jake. Jake shrugged and Dylan laughed. Silly sandwiches. Let's think about this book that we just read. Which ingredients from the silly sandwich are not usually found in a regular sandwich? Can you name at least three? I'm going to name at least three. So he had chocolate chips. He had marshmallows. He had sugar cubes. Are those the same three you thought of? Number two, do you think Dylan's mom would have approved of the sandwich they made? Why or why not? This is a really interesting question. I'll give you some time to think about it. Here's what I would say. I think Dylan's mom would have approved of the sandwiches they made because for just one day, they were having fun, it kept them occupied, 
It let them be creative and it let them experiment. But I think if they were going to do that on every day, they would be making a big mess and it's not really all that healthy and they should probably have eaten like a proper sandwich. So um, that's how I would answer that question. Did you answer it the same way I did? Number three, how would you describe Jake and Dylan? I'll let you think about that for a little bit. I would say Jake and Dylan are really good friends. It seems like they're playing together a lot and maybe a little mischievous. They probably like to get into things and maybe stir up trouble and just being typical little boys. What do you think? Okay, thanks, Jason. Bye.